Hello everyone, welcome to Felipe's Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at this LEGO idea set, Dinosaur Fossils. It contains 910 pieces and retail at 110 New Zealand dollars. You get to build three different uh, skeletons of the uh, dinosaur fossil. It also comes with one uh, skeleton minifigure and one minifigure. So for each of the fossil, it has its separate uh, instruction booklet. You do start with uh, this one first, but the interesting thing is uh, you don't see any uh, description of the set or the fan design on the first booklet, but instead you get it in the uh, second one. And here are the three uh, dinosaur fossils. Obviously, you've got a uh, T-Rex here, and then you've got a uh, Triceratops, and finally you have this uh, Pteranodon. Each of the fossil does comes with this uh, nameplate. However, it is a uh, sticker instead of a uh, printed piece, which would be much more preferred. So for the Triceratops and the T-Rex, the stand and the skeleton is actually interconnected. You can't really uh, remove the skeleton from the stand. Uh, there's good thing and bad things. The good thing is you can't just uh, play with the skeleton or display by the skeleton itself. But the good thing is if you turn it over, it wouldn't fall apart. And here is a close look at the Pteranodon. Uh, it's the most simple uh, fossil built out of all three. Uh, you do get some articulation around uh, this area, the neck and, and the head, and also uh, the wing as well. And here is a comparison between the fossil Pteranodon and the actual uh, Lego Pteranodon. You can see uh, the fossil is uh, actually a little bit bigger than the actual dinosaur. And the size difference between the fossil and the actual Lego dinosaur are much more noticeable uh, for the Triceratops and the T-Rex. And here is a closer look at the Triceratops fossil. And again, you've got articulation point around the neck area, uh, the, the mouth and also uh, the tail with uh, multiple uh, articulation points. I did enjoy the build and I'm particularly impressed with how the ribcage and the head is designed even though there are lots of uh, small pieces that you need to put together. And here is the uh, T-Rex fossil. Uh, it's quite a difficult choice uh, which one is the best fossil between the uh, Triceratops or the T-Rex. I do feel uh, that the Triceratops is a bit more realistic. Um, I do feel like uh, the ribcage here is a bit too crowded, like it would be uh, a bit better to have it more separate. Um, the hands, though, is very realistic, but uh, compared to the other parts of the body, it's just a bit too big. Uh, but I do like how it's designed. Um, the skull, though, is very impressive. Uh, however, because it's quite heavy, um, this uh, joint here sometimes a bit loose, but it does look menacing at times. As a bonus, you do get a uh, minifigure and also a skeleton figure. Uh, the fun part of it is that this uh, skeleton minifigure it does have a sticker uh, printed with um, Lego Sapiens. Uh, and for the minifigure, you do have the uh, Druid Mother leg, but it doesn't have any uh, alternate face. Uh, it also has a uh, case of uh, accessories or research material that this guy owns. And for the book, you do have a sticker inside uh, to show his research. Overall, I do like this set. I think it's a good set and I do think it turns out to be way better than I originally expected because when I first saw the photo, I thought um, the skeleton is a bit too white, but in reality, the color turns out just about right. It would have been better if the nameplates are exclusive printed pieces instead of stickers, but I didn't really mind because the number of stickers is not that many. Uh, for me, the most impressive one is definitely the uh, Triceratops. Compared to the T-Rex, it's uh, way well more balanced uh, for the T-Rex, although it still looks very impressive. It will be even better if the size of the fossil is consistent with uh, the size of any previously released Lego dinosaur, but then that will be a challenge uh, for the designer to get uh, the same impressive model in such size. And it's nice that they include one mini figure and also this uh, skeleton figure here. Uh, and I do recommend this set uh, to every LEGO fans out there.
Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like my video, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updates. I'll see you next time.